Hi everyone, I am Charlene Habermeyer and this is Tidbits of Wisdom for Parents. Today we're going to talk about the number one thing that kids need from their parents. Now, if you think back, have you ever read a story or a commentary or an article or a news broadcast of somebody on their deathbed who said, golly gee, I wish I had made an extra million dollars or I wish I had gone on that exotic vacation or I wish this or I wish that I had more material possessions. Well, guess what? It's never been recorded because that's not usually what people on their deathbed say. If they're going to have regrets, it's usually about not spending enough time with their kids, not spending enough time with their kids and building a relationship with them, or not spending enough time with their spouse. But it never has to do with anything that pertains to material possessions, and it has everything to do with family. So the A number one thing that researchers and child psychologists have been saying for years that the A number one thing that children need from their parents is time. In 2015, there was a study that was published and what they found is that when children are young, up to age 12, they need time from their parents, but they need quality time. That was the number one important thing. Quality time, they defined as like taking them to the park, reading them a book, sitting them while and uh, playing and dancing with them uh, as they listened to music, reading stories to them right before they went to bed, gathering around as a family and having dinner together and talking. All of those constituted having time and quality time with their children. Now, the researchers also found that once children hit the teen years between the ages of 12 and 18, they needed both quality and quantity time. It wasn't just quality time. They needed their parents, which is kind of counterintuitive because we kind of think that once a child is a teenager, then they're off on their own. They're doing their own things. But they said because their hormones are fluctuating and they're, having, they're, they're going into an adult world, they need to lean on their parents. They need to know that their parents are there and that will, they will be the for, there for them at all times. Now, what they found is if the mother gives them both quality and quantity time, that they have less delinquent behavior. They get to class, they get to school, they try hard, they do all of those things. And if the father is giving them both quality and quantity time, they found that the children are less likely to get involved in drugs and alcohol and other negative behaviors. They found an interesting caveat, too, that if the parents define quality and quantity time with their teenagers and they just sit down and watch movies day after day after day, that that actually will have a negative impact on the child. So what did they constitute of having quality and quantity time with their teenagers? They said just about anything. You can take them on date nights. You can take them to ball games. You can go to museums. Anything that the child, your teenage child, is interested in and you as a parent show a genuine interest and you want to be involved in that, that constitutes quality time. Now in our home, let me tell you a few things that we did when our kids were young prior to them becoming teenagers. We had every night, we had kind of a bedtime ritual, and I'm sure that many of you do as well. We gathered the family together, we went around in the circle, and we called it moments of mush, because everyone was to say something kind or nice about everyone in the family and also about themselves. Now when they got to be teenagers, it was a little more difficult, so we kind of changed that a bit. Another thing that we did when they were young, it was called rock me time. My husband took two of the boys and I took the other two and we rocked them for about 10 minutes and we asked them the same question every night. What is the best thing that happened to you today? Then we also had a uh, time that we read to them every single solitary day. I read to them at least five books and so sometimes those five books or 10 books that I read to them had to do a story time right before that they, they went to bed. And we were constantly looking for different activities that we could involve them with as a family. When they got older, we were interested in their sports. We were interested in their music. We were interested in the books that they read. We were interested in what they were doing at school. All of those things. And we had special date nights that we went on with them once a month and other activities that we did every weekend with them. Those are all things that constitute quality and quantity time that you can do with your children. Now, I want to leave you with a thought by Barbara Johnson. She said, to be in your children's memories tomorrow, you have to be in their lives today. And kids spell love, T-I-M-E. Thank you for joining me, and I'll see you tomorrow. Goodbye.